Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to generate a terrain in uh, JavaScript using the Perlin Noise Library. And um, if you guys want to see the uh, preview, it's going to look something like that. I'm going to try to make that. It's a tutorial, it's not a coding challenge. So obviously, I'm going to try my best to teach you guys how everything works. So um, yeah, let's just get started. Uh, this is my HTML file. It's um, in Sublime Text, so I'm going to... Start off by writing the title, uh, Terrain Generator. Okay, and then this is my output in Safari. I always like to inspect the elements so I can see the console, because um, we might be working with the console. And then um, script, oh, sorry, tab, script. And this over here is where we're gonna write our JavaScript. And then, guys, I'm gonna connect the p5.js library, um, because, uh, yeah, so this this tutorial is gonna work with the p5.js library. You can always make a Terran with like using HTML div elements, but obviously it's much harder. But because uh, in p5.js, all you need is like you have to call some line functions and some vertexes. But in HTML div, you have to like style it. You have to create the element. You have to do a lot of things. So yeah, so p5.js is pretty simple to um, use. And if you guys have never ever worked with p5.js then you can always um, learn from the link that I'll put in the description. Um, and I'm also gonna put a link to uh, the Coding Trains video on this. Uh, he does it pretty well, much better than me, so yeah. Um, yeah, so the reason why I called it p52.js is because, first of all, this file's in the same directory as this um, terrain tutorial.html. Uh, and the reason why it's called p52.js is because I named it that after two p5.js is I named this one p52 so yeah let's get started the first thing you want to do is function setup now the reason why is because I mean it's quite clear uh, you have to create the canvas in the setup function and then you have to create another function called draw and over here uh, you can put whatever color you want but I'm gonna put it black zero okay you can also you can always put zero 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 but I'm not gonna get into that because you know that's like another topic colors and stuff but uh yeah um can i perfectly zoom this yeah there we go all right so so that's our canvas it's black and uh yeah right i'm just gonna create some space over here now the next thing is to create a webgl argument over here and the reason why is because we're gonna work with uh, 3d stuff and we have to like use 3d kind of and you'll see why and uh, when you refresh and save this um, file then you'll see this in the console p5 render gl enabled webgl context that confirms that the webgl works okay so uh, yeah let's get started the first thing you want to do like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this terrain like you saw in the preview it's like you saw there were quite a lot of lines I'll have it up again just in a second um, yeah there you go and uh, you can you can see that there are quite a lot of lines everywhere, but it looks like a Terran. So we have to make our mesh like like in triangles, kind of. Okay. So you might think that they're just like lines that are going everywhere in certain directions, but they're actually triangles. Okay. So the way I'm gonna do this is for this is in the draw function. So this is like everything you see var y is equal to zero. Y should be smaller than let's say uh, sixty, and y plus plus four var x equals zero x should be smaller than 60 x plus plus and now what i'm going to do over here is um i'm going to make a i'm going to call a function called begin shape and then oh sorry i'm going to do this over here yeah so i'm going to pass in the argument called uh i think it's called triangle strip yeah this one triangle strip okay so triangle strip now, the reason why we want to do this is because um, the p5.js begin function, um, uh, begin shape function, it, uh, like, you can just put points wherever you want, and then it creates a shape from that. So that's what we want to do. We want to create a, uh, it's going to look like this. So it's going to look like triangles, like a strip of triangles just going like that, and then deck throw. Boom. Strip, 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 and so on, until it reaches the bottom, okay? So that's what we want to do. Um, yeah, and then over here, I'm gonna call the end shape. Yeah. 
And the reason why I put this for loop inside, um, like the begin shape and the end shape, is because like it's the x value that changes and makes the strip like go horizontally. So yeah. So I'm gonna put a vertex, vertex, and then another vertex, and you'll see why. It's gonna go up, down. Okay. So at a zero, um, at x times at x times uh, 10 and y times 10 and then at x times 10 and then and then over here we will do y plus 1 uh, times 10 okay uh, and then what does this do yeah this just goes like that and the reason why it's like this is because um, why is it like that oh yeah because we filled it like we put a fill into it, but what we want to do, we, we don't want any fill, right? So now you see black. That's because there's, the stroke is um, black color. So we have to put stroke um, 255 and that's white. So right now, that's what you see. Okay. So what we did over here, I made it go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and so on. Okay. All the way over there. But this actually ends like somewhere over here, but I just have to shift it like half of the width and that's very necessary so I'm gonna go like um, translate width over 2 oh sorry minus width because we want to go minus that way uh, height minus height over 2 and then uh, yeah you see this from here to here perfect and um, yeah right so that works and then after that we just have to like right now what you see is just like a flat thing but this is actually going to be the surface so what we have to do we have to rotate this and this is why we used the webgl we have to rotate this along the x-axis which goes like horizontally like that um let's say 80 degrees or 60. okay um that didn't work <laughs> Uh, let me just see what the problem is. Oh yeah, right. So the reason why it's going like this is because 60, like rotate x. What pe what our program thinks is that 60 is in radian mode. Okay, there are two ways to measure angle. It's in radian mode and degrees mode. So I'm more familiar with degrees and it, uh, like I'm also familiar with radians, but I like degrees more. So over here in the setup, I'm gonna put angle mode degrees. Okay, but if you're more familiar with radians, you can always put um, 60 instead of, uh, you can go like pi over 3, and that's 60 degrees. Or uh, you, if you're not using p5.js, you can do math.pi over 3, okay? But we're using angles, so I'm going to put 60, and then you see that, okay? Um, uh, and then, what I'm going to do is uh, I just have to check something all right yeah so everything's good you can see it's like it looks more 3d now and if you want to make it like even more you can put it to 80 let's say and it looks like that but I like let's just say 65 okay yeah that's good now what I'm gonna do the way we're gonna make this 3d thing work is we have to like pull some of these vertexes up that's how it's gonna become 3d it's gonna like pull each vertex up but if we just pull each vertex up randomly, they're just gonna look like, um, they're just gonna look like a scribble kind of. We're just gonna look like this goes like really high up, and this goes like, uh, like this goes really high up, and then the one, and then the vertex right next to it goes like really low, and then the next one goes really high, the next one goes really low, and next one goes even lower and stuff. And um, because of that, like the Terran one looks so smooth, right? So this is why we use Perlin noise. Perlin noise is an algorithm developed by um, Ken Perlin, and uh, I'll put a link to him. I think I hope I will <laughs> uh, in the description below. But um, yeah, he was a he developed this um, algorithm, and now it's named after him. And what it does is it pretty much makes everything smooth. Okay, so let's say I'll, I'll put a I'll put a image and some stuff up on the screen just in a second. You can see that. For example, over here, you can see, um, sorry, uh, yeah, in the left diagram, you can see that it's not so smooth. It's quite random, really, really random movement, okay? But in the right one, you can see it's smoother, okay? So it, instead of like 
going from left to right to left to right. It goes like from left to right to just a bit left to that right or something like that. Okay, but it's much more smoother, okay? And that's what we want. We have to make the terrain smooth, okay? And not like really bumpy, sharp edges co coming out. So yeah. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> How do we do this? We can go like, uh, yeah, right. So p5.js it has a built-in function called noise, and what the noise does, it, oh sorry, um, it takes in. So you can do this with a one-dimensional, um, with a one-dimensional uh, coordinate system, with a two-dimensional or a three-dimensional. In this video, we're gonna work with two-dimensional. I know this looks 3D, but you'll see why we're gonna you'll see why we're gonna use um, Two dimensional so let's say we want to put 10 and 10 those are x and y coordinates then it returns this a number a random number that is between 0 and 1 okay and the cool part is let's say we want to do something right next to it you can see that it gives us a number that's really close to that number but if, if we do like something that is quite far away let's say uh, 50 um, yeah yes yeah, so like by chance somehow this number is like close to this number but you can see it's much further away from this number okay so that's the thing close the closer the numbers the more similar their um their uh, output will be if you call the noise function and um the further away like there's a it could be like like for example let's say okay let me give a better example let's say it's zero zero okay it's 0 0.57 but let's take a look at zero ten Okay, that was a, <laughs> let's take a look at 0, 100, 0, 200. Yeah, okay, over here you can see like the further it gets um, from that point, it's like the smoother, or right, you'll see with an example, okay? So let's just car carry on coding this and then you'll see what I mean. So, yeah, how do we do this? Um, vertex, yeah, so obviously over here we have to give like a Z position, a Z position and same one over here. And the way we can do that is we can already, cause like if we, if we just give a random Z position, then it's gonna like generate it randomly and just it's gonna be a mess. So we have to, we have to preload these, um, pos this, uh, these, um, these noises, these noise values. Okay, so I'm gonna go like var terrain values, I guess, They're just a random array. And if you're confused, like. I'm pretty sure you might be, but um, you'll see, like, it'll all make sense at the end, okay? So, Terran values equals to that, and then 4, var x equals 0, x should be smaller than 60, oh, sorry, var y, var y equals 0, x, should, x y should be smaller than 60, y plus plus, and then 4, var x equals 0, x should be smaller than 60, and x plus plus. And now, um, we can say terrain of the <clears throat> of the x and the sorry of the y and then of the x is equal to map okay and you'll see why map um map noise of x y okay because that's the x coordinate and that's the y coordinate okay and noise that generates a random number between zero and one and uh yeah okay and then uh, so this number will be between 0 and 1, and we want to fit it into minus, um, let's just say, mult multiplier and uh, to multiplier. Yeah, okay? So, and then over here I'm going to put a multiplier, mult is equal to 50. So, mult is like kind of how high the turn will be. If it's like a really no, low, lum, low number, then it's going to be like a really flat terrain. If it's like a really high number up to 100, let's say, it's going to be like, like the Himalayas okay so uh, yeah here we go um, yeah so with that said and now we can put that uh, these values into um, the vertexes so we can go like terrain values um, of the X and then of the Y and this X is and this X and this Y is referring to this loop not that one obviously and then uh, terrain values X Y all right and now let's see this Undefined is not an object. Line 17. Oh yeah, obviously. So uh, over here, you have to create like a new, you have to create a new array, like an empty array. Cause then like over here, we stated that it's a one dimensional array, but then over here we said that it's a two dimensional. So that doesn't make sense. 
And over here, there we go. You can see a really, really bumpy terrain, okay? So now the way to fix this is by doing this. These two numbers are like, so like first the Y coordinate is zero, and then it's one. And the gap between zero and one, which is one, that's actually quite a lot. You might think that's only one, but in this noise function, uh, the lower it is, the lower the gap, the smoother it will be, okay? So instead of incrementing it by um, by one, we can increment it by, by let's say, 0 0.2. So we can go like, I'm just gonna create two uh, variables. Let's say x off equals to zero and var y off is equal to zero. And then over here, I'm gonna put y off is equal to y off plus 0 0.2. And then over here, I'm gonna put x off is equal to x off plus 0 0.2. And then over here, I'm gonna put x off and y off. And you can see, uh, yeah. All right, guys, so um, you can see it's quite squiggly. And the reason why is because you see this x off, it's just increasing. Like, let's say, for, the, for example, over here, when this loop goes through the x loop, then let's say after 60, 60 times 0 0.3 is, uh, so that's 0 0.18, 18, I think. Yeah, so so after 1.8, after this loop is done, the first time, x off is equal to 1.8. But then the next loop is gonna increase from 1.8. We don't want it to increase point one point, from 1.8. We want it to increase back from zero. And there you have it. The terrain looks like a normal terrain. And now, let me just teach you how to like, change the controls to um, to meet your desires. So let's say you want a more flatter, a, a flatter terrain, you can change the, um, the increments, okay? So I'm just gonna have an ink variable over here, ink, ink stands for increment, var ink is equal to zero. If it's zero, then it's a super, it's like a flat world, okay? But if it's, let's say 0 0.01, you can see a bit of bumpy stuff, okay? And every time it changes, okay? Because the noise function, it, it's like a random thing, but it, cr it changes the random into smooth, okay? So you can see, you can see some bumpy stuff over there, okay? But then, let's take a look at 0 0.3. 0 0.3 adds more bumpy stuff, okay? But let's take a look at 0 0.8 or 7, okay? You can see that, it's, you can see some hills, okay? And now when we change it to one, you can see, oh dear, what happened, okay? So one is like way, way too much, okay? So what do you want to do? You always want to keep it like be below 0 0.5, okay? If you want like a really smooth one. And I, re I recommend it to be like below 0 0.1 maybe even. So like ink is like kind of how smooth it is, okay? So the lower this ink is, the smoother it will be, obviously. And then um, if you want like a taller one, like Mount Everest, let's say, you can always do multiplier. Let's say we want it to be 100. You can see these massive tall mountains and they're much smoother than if we had it to be like ink one. Okay, you, like this is just, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> okay, so 0 0.05, let's say. Uh, yeah, you can see that. And then if you have it like 0 0.01, then it's like really, really smooth, okay? Like, this. I mean, this looks like great, okay? And 0 0.04, three, let's say. So it's quite fun experimenting with these numbers and like getting really cool uh, results. So yeah, so yeah, that's how you make a terrain in um, JavaScript and p5.js. Um, maybe later I'll make a video on how to do this with uh, blocks, so you can like create a Minecraft kind of world um, to create like a 3D Minecraft like um, like environment and things like that. And then eventually, like even I'm learning this now, I'm trying it by myself. I'm trying to make 3D Minecraft. Um, obviously, I mean, that's really hard, but I'm just trying to do the basics and just get all, like, make the world, pretty much, and not, like, any controls, because that, that'll that take quite a lot of time. So, yeah. All right, so, hope you guys learned something from this video, and hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and yeah, see you guys in the next one.